Hey, what up guys, it's Ivan here, and while I'm saying hi, I'm just basically gonna run casually yellow version 3 here on Google Club. Yep. Now let's display the image. Yep, there we go. And this is just one of the ways that this really awesome tool from Google has, you know, may serve you and has served me. And what is Google Cloud? It's basically a Python hosted Jupyter notebook that you can use for that, 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 that's like a, it's not just a notebook, it's basically a Linux machine which is a Jupyter notebook which you can use in Python. Let me show what I mean, for instance, you can go and run some Python here and if you put an exclamation mark next to something you can go and run all sorts of Linux commands. I can go in, say up, get, install, say unzip. I think it's already here, but then I'll check for it. Yep. And one of the like one of the reasons why Google Club has been getting a lot of traction lately is because it's got a free GPU for you to use. Not, not just like any GPU, like the kind of the old, you know, covered with uh, with like web and like spiders or you know whatever is happening in all their computers, but actually Nvidia that's like a, a GPU with which is like a several thousand dollar GPU and you know obviously got a lot of computational power and for me like in comparison to like my AMD Radeon which doesn't even support CUDA and like uh, calculations for deep learning like that was a life saver. So it's got a GPU, it's got. 12 gigs of RAM, so you can, you know, train. So it's mo mostly like training your models or doing com heavy computational stuff, or if you just, you know, on the go and you want know, to have like your main PC, you may like pop it up and write some Python code, test some things. So, one of the, you know, advantages of it is. Is, is, is the fact that you know it's that crazy internet speed like you can say w get and it'll download something from github with like the speed of 100 megabytes per second which is like crazy i mean but it's basically like i don't know somewhere in the heart of google or something so it's probably pretty close for the data to flow and it's fully integrated with google drive which is also another life lifesaver since um, like one of the other things that I've used Colab for is like augmenting huge, huge, huge amounts of data, and and you know when you augment the huge amounts of data, data you want to store it, and that's you know not a pretty thing to download like I don't know 10 gigs of data to your machine from Colab, but you know you can mount into your Google Drive. I think I have that code here somewhere. Be somewhere here. Yep. But when just two lines of code, you can go and mount into your Google Drive, and that'll basically appear here in your files, and you can use it. And again, it's a fully functional Linux machine, so you can run Hello World, you can run LS, and yeah. But you may be like asking yourself at this point, like, what's the catch? And it's really important to kind of know the rules uh, so that you may not, you know, get into the same kind of, same kind of, I wouldn't say trouble, but like, it's the same kind of, you know, basically trouble for, you know, losing your data to collab. So, basically, once you activate the command, it starts to count down. It start, yeah, and everything will disappear from collab in 12 hours. So, like your code that you wrote will stay, but you'll have to re upload all the files again, you'll have to carry out uh, you know, all the calculations again. Like, there have been some, you know, not really uh, pleasant, <laughs> pleasant cases, but I was like training YOLO for, I don't know, 12 hours. I, I thought, thought, like, you know, one hour, you know, it's probably like. Nothing's gonna happen now. We'll like lose a bunch of progress, and that sucked. So don't make my mistakes. But it's not like as strict as you have to, you know, stare at the screen and you look away, and you know, guys from Google go and like 
I don't know, smash your computer with a hammer or something because you're like not using it. No, you can actually close close the tab, you know, and for 90 minutes it will stay still very active and with yeah it'll stay for 90 minutes to stay active for like all the files that you need. But you know it's when when you're like living it overnight it's better to you know keep it like as the front tab I found. I don't know there's sometimes it's kinda of like the run times this way. Yeah. So one other thing that I wanted to show is how you can basically uh, actually choose to use a GPU, go to edit, notebook settings, and then you can choose here whether you want to use Python 2 or Python 3, and then you can choose here whether you want to none, which is a CPU, a GPU or a TPU, but you know, I haven't used much of TPUs and I think that Quora and GPU is basically the, the you know, basically something that works for most of the problems and basically the default go-to for most of the tasks. So, yep, let's keep going. And another, another thing that I wanted to say that basically all the things that you can do on Linux, you can do here. So, not hesitate to be inventive and, you know, Google for solutions for Linux and kind of try things out and, you know, see, you know, how you can solve problems here. And, you know, a lot of processes like installing Java or, you know, running YOLO or what else have I done? I've run some Kiwi, like Kiwi, uh, Python for Android, I packaged Kiwi for Android here. So you can basically do a lot of things if you can get a little uh, in, you know, some, if you're, if you're willing basically to explore things in Google. <laughs> Uh, Google search a lot of questions and yeah it helps a lot that a lot of solutions for Linux can be reapplied here so that's a great and that's really that's really the basics you can write run cycles here and you know one last thing one last important thing that I wanted to share is like sometimes you mess your uh, sometimes, sometimes like you execute some code and like everything gets messy and you kind of wanna uh, you know start over you can reset all runtimes, and what that will do is basically, yeah, it's always do the same thing as if you waited for 12 hours and basically re remove all your data and you can just start over and run your code. So you can see like there was darknet, and now there are, will be pretty much just sample data. Yep. So in the next videos, I'll show you how you can effectively use it with Google Drive and how you can run yellow version 3 there as well as some other tips and tricks that I picked up along the way. So hope you hope that was useful and thanks for watching and like that's an awesome tool and I hope you will enjoy using it. Big shout out to Google and subscribe subscribe and you know like if you want to stick around and yeah bye guys.